Hello and welcome to this how-to video from eWard Winning Outdoors at eWardWinning94.wordpress.com. For this one I'm going to show you how to make a very simple uh, fly that's good for trout. Uh, I just caught a largemouth bass on it a little bit ago, sunfish, all kinds of stuff. It's called a mop fly. It's one of the simplest flies there is to tie and it replicates a caterpillar or a larva or something like that. I'm going to start out with a number 12 jig hook and I've already put these slotted tungsten bead on it just because I always fumble with those and I don't figure you want to spend me watching five minutes, uh, spend five minutes watching me trying to get the silly bead on. So I've got that on. I'm going to take my fly tying thread here and you can use whatever kind of thread you want because this is not one that has to be real precise. I'm just going to wrap a thread base back about to the curve of the hook and then back up to right behind the bead there and I will trim off the excess thread there. And this is one again that does not have to be super precise. You can make it different colors, you can use different kinds of material. It's called a mop fly because traditionally it was made with uh, just a cut off piece from a uh, string mop. This is actually some thick uh, yarn chenille that I picked up at a fabric store. I've actually made it cutting off pieces of the um, various types of stuff like that. So I'm just going to lay this next to the hook and do a couple of gentle wraps, well, theoretically there. A couple gentle wraps to kind of get this started tying it down. I want it to come off the back of the hook and once I get it secured a little bit, I'll just do several there to tie it down good. And that's probably a little long for this size hook. So I'm just going to trim a little bit of that off. You can hit the end of that with a little drop of glue, or if it's a synthetic material that melts, you can hit it with a lighter. And then a couple options at this point. I'm going to, on this one, use dubbing. And I've got a little bit of real rabbit dubbing here. And I'm putting a little dubbing wax on my fingers and on the thread here just because it makes it easier to get this rabbit dubbing to twist around the thread and stay in place while you're working. But you just want to make a little bit of a dubbing noodle doesn't need to be very big. And I probably didn't get quite enough wax on my fingers to really do what I wanted to do there, but that's okay, it'll still work. Once you get a little bit of dubbing on that, you can just kind of wrap it around there. And that just makes a little bit of a buggy looking collar. And once that's done, you can either use a whip finish tool or just do several quick half hitches to secure your thread. And then I will typically put a drop of head cement behind that as well. Just to kind of help secure that in place because it might have a tendency to want to come unwrapped. Trim that excess there. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to show you one alternative thing you can do in just a moment. Okay, I'm back to show you an alternate option here. And if you're paying close attention, you notice that my mop fly here has changed colors. That's because it is not the same one. I just started another one. And this is actually more of a natural, kind of a beige looking color. It is a piece of a fog ball made by Rain-X. They make these things that are designed to be able to clean your um, windshield, mirror, whatever, if it's foggy and it's got little tentacles on it that are just perfect for cutting off for this. What I'm going to do on this one, instead of making a dubbing collar, is I'm going to use some hackle here. And that will make it look almost like legs or tentacles or something. So I'm just going to secure that a little bit, trim off the butt of that, or the stem of that hackle feather. And it doesn't have to be real precise, because again, a mop fly is not a precision fly. It's just kind of a make it look like some sort of a caterpillar looking thing. So I'm just going to take several twists of hackle there. I'll hold it with my thumb for a second so I can get some thread around it to hold it in place. A couple wraps of thread. Snip that extra off there. I'm going to do a couple half hitches to secure it. And again, you could use a whip tip finish tool here if you like. You're not really trying to necessarily build up a head, you just want something that's going to kind of hold it. 
and it kind of pulled there, pulled loose, but that's fine because I got it tied. A little drop of head cement to hold that together. And get that where the camera can see it. It just looks like a little caterpillar there with some legs or something on it. And that's really all there is to it. So click like and, and subscribe down below if you appreciate this. And you'll get a chance to see some more videos on all kinds of how-to stuff that I post about. Mostly outdoors related, but a lot of cooking videos as well. And I appreciate you watching.